Hello and welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be doing something very different from my usual content. So me and a couple of other people have talked about this for a while, but it's just not really happened yet. So I thought I'd take that very first step and uh, start this tag, which is of course, as you can probably tell by the title and thumbnail, a My Hero Academia themed tag, where I will answer a bunch of questions, seven to be precise, with a bonus question at the very end, so there will be eight questions in total, and they are all opinion based questions, so what it really comes down to here is personal preference. That's a very strong theme in this video, well in this tag in general, so if others catch on and do their own My Hero Academia tag, then it will be very personalized for them of course. After answering all of these questions, I will be tagging a bunch of people with the hopes that they will keep this tag going for at least a while, I mean if they don't then that is fine. You can also play along in the comment sections if you want, I mean I'd really like to see just how other people answer these questions. Well enough of this intro, it's long enough already, let's jump into these questions, shall we? Question 1. Who is your favorite female and male character in My Hero Academia and why? My favorite female character is without a doubt Himiko Toga and the reason why I like Toga so much is because I typically have a thing for the crazy chicks, but it's not just that she's crazy but she's also a really strong character despite her quirk not having any direct combat advantage. She fights with hand to hand combat and sharp and stealth techniques that aren't connected to her quirk to such a level that she can easily stand up to people with quirks. Now she's not going to beat everyone she faces or anything but she can stand toe to toe with most people just by using her cell phone skills, like how she landed a solid hit on Aizawa in one of the more recent chapters. While not even paying attention to him all that much, she is carefree, cray cray and strong as a character. Okay, my favorite male character is definitely Tamaki Amajiki of the big three. If you don't know, his quirk is basically to take on the qualities of stuff that he eats, so he can grow tentacles if he eats squid and stuff like that. It's pretty straightforward really, but his quirk is not the main reason why I like him. His personality and his anxiety is actually what I like about him, because he has very bad anxiety, he could not even give a formal presentation to class 1A, instead Nejire had to step in and do it for him. and on on top of that, he has a very interesting personality because he doesn't really believe in himself very much, he likes to take the easy way out if possible, but if push comes to shove, this guy can be an absolute beast in combat because we saw him just decimate three of the expendables working for overhaul. Never before have we seen a one on three looking so awesome. Well prior to this fight anyway, who knows what the future holds. His backstory was also something that got me because we learned that he and Mirio Togata have been friends for a very long time and that Mirio and Tamaki has this really unique connection. Kinda like they're two sides of the same coin, they depend on each other if they want to be as capable as they are. That just adds to why I like Tamaki so much. His quirk is of course also very appealing, but it's not really the main reason why I like his character. I mean, come on, who doesn't like the idea of being able to manifest things that you eat onto your own body? The temptation is there for most people, I think. Question 2. What is your favorite moment in My Hero Academia and why that moment in particular? My favorite moment in My Hero Academia... Damn, that is a really hard question, but I think if I have to narrow it down to one, I would really have to go with when Bakugo was being held captive at the villain headquarters, because that was the one moment where we got a straight verification that Bakugo will never ever turn to the dark side. A lot of people prior to that moment thought that he was going to be turned over since they had him as a prisoner effectively, and his personality wasn't really very hero-like, but when we see how Bakugo is confronted by the Vanguard squad and Shigaraki, and while they they were trying to break him, he just tells Shigaraki straight up front, go fuck yourself. Well, not in those exact words, but with the same meaning really. That moment, my friends, is probably the best moment that I've seen in My Hero Academia to date. There are a few that are really close, but at the end of the day, this moment wins it because it had such an impact on the story, because this is when we got it served on a plate. Bakugo is never ever going to become a villain. Bakugo is my favorite character from class 1A, so that's probably what's boosting why I picked a Bakugo related moment as my absolute favorite, but I don't really think anyone can say that this was not a huge moment in the story, because as I've said probably twice already, it made Bakugo's position carved in stone pretty much. He's a good guy for life, despite how much of an asshole he may be to everyone around him. But that's just why we love this guy. Question 3. 
if you found yourself in the world of My Hero Academia, what would your quirk be? If I could have any quirk imaginable in the world of My Hero Academia, then I think I'd go with something pretty balanced and basic because nobody likes a tryhard who goes for the most overpowered ability ever, right? My choice is to have a power which allows me to pretty much alter my attributes like strength, endurance, stamina and all those kind of things. And the way it would function would be that in order to increase one attribute, you need to take away from another, creating a pretty good balance. So let's say you wanted to increase your strength. Your defense or whatever will be reduced equally to the amount of power you gain. And I guess you could probably draw a parallel between gaining endurance and losing maybe speed. Not too sure which attributes would go with which exactly. I mean, I'm just sort of coming up with this now. Well, I've thought about it a little prior to recording this video, but it's not exactly a lifelong planned quirk. So for the most part, I'd just be a regular dude with changeable stats and that's pretty much it. Question 4. Again, if you found yourself in the world of My Hero Academia, would you consider yourself more of a hero or a villain type of person? Given what I said about my quirk, I would definitely not turn towards the path of a villain. While it's nice to be more free, I guess, I feel like I'd be more of a neutral man. Not really a hero, and not a villain either. And I don't mean that I would be a vigilante or anything, but I would be more of a selfish guy really, because that's what I am. I'm really selfish in reality, even if it's not very noticeable watching my videos. I would be doing things for my own benefit, not anyone else's, and if my goals happen to go hand in hand with some hero work, I may help out, you know? And the same could go for villain type of work. I probably wouldn't kill anyone since I'm not a murderer, but I might mess up hero's plans as long as it's within the boundaries of how far I'm willing to go for my own selfish gains, because as I said, I wouldn't kill anyone and I wouldn't really be doing anything that would seem harmful to say children or, and whatnot. Those are basically my biggest limitations I'd say, other than that I'd be very much a middleman between hero and villain. Question 5 which is your favorite opening song? The second opening is definitely my favorite opening out of the three that we have, but the first one is pretty close to be honest. The reason why I like the second opening is because it works really well with what the arc covers, the sports festival that is. Both the visuals and the song I'd say because if we start with the audio, you have this pretty calm start as you do with most openings and it builds up to this really big hype of some of the big fights that the arc had to offer and visually I'd say it goes perfectly with that seeing how we get to see all of the characters that are relevant being in focus like Bakugo, Deku, Todoroki, Uraraka and a couple of others I believe Ida and Kirishima as well. During the build up we see them warm up for something and of course that is the sports festival as when we get to the big hype these are the characters that play the biggest parts in the festival from class 1A. As I said, opening 1 is also very close and that's because it has a really good fit between audio and visuals. It was really good. But the third opening, I really don't like it. While the song in itself is really good, I personally do not think that it's a very good match with the arc. Some people will disagree and that's cool, I mean, it's just my opinion after all. I just feel as if opening 1 and 2 are miles ahead of opening 3 when it comes to an overall score. Question 6. If you had to work as a sidekick to any character in My Hero Academia, who would that be? Okay, so if I can choose any character in the series, let's assume it's a bit in the future then because I would probably work with someone like Kirishima or maybe Bakugo. I think I'd go for Kirishima really because he's a bit more collected. I'm of course basing that on their current personalities since that's all we have to go on. I like the idea of being on the offense route. And I feel like Kirishima would be pretty forward going in his hero work since he does look up to Crimson Riot, who seemingly was the type of guy to just charge into the fight. So I feel like that's the right type of hero work for me. It's pretty hard to find a perfect pick really, I mean, the obvious choice here would be working for Tamaki, since I like him, but I honestly don't see him being the best choice in this particular case. So yeah, Kirishima most likely, since as I said, I feel like that would involve the right type of hero work for my particular taste and Bakugo would probably go a bit overboard in his methods. Question 7. Who in My Hero Academia do you relate to the most? This is a really hard question for me because I don't think there's any character that I could say is anywhere near a perfect match to relate to, but if I must choose one then my choice is probably going to be Kaminari because 
he has this laid back personality and shit which I can relate to. The only difference really is that I don't really care much for people in general so that's why I can't say it's a perfect match. But it is close enough since my personality still goes hand in hand with him even if he and I have very different views on things and what we value. It's funny because I don't really care about Kaminari all that much. I mean I don't dislike him by any means but he's not really a character that stands out to me and I think that might be because he's kind of like me at least it's a possibility it could be that he's usually not that relevant of course other than a few arcs but generally speaking i do think it comes down to how i relate to him and that's why i don't pay much attention to him bonus question if you could take out someone from my hero academia on a date who would that be and how would the date play out? Oh, the chica of my choosing will be a little toga, probably no surprise there. But yeah, imagine a date with the Yandere of My Hero Academia. Now that is something that I would like to experience, not even joking. I probably wouldn't settle for dinner as a date, that's not really my style, I can eat at home, let's do something more unique while we're out. That's how I roll, so just what would I settle for with toga? I'm not quite sure myself, but probably something relatively simple like going to an amusement park or watching a movie maybe although I probably would be cautious when going into certain attractions because imagine going into one of those horror house things I don't really know what they're called but basically an attraction where you go inside and there's a bunch of scary stuff imagine going into one of those with Toga like I don't think I would simply because you just never know she could get some funny ideas like pulling a knife from behind your back and just mutilate you in order to liven up the theme or whatever I like like Toga a lot right but getting chopped up in an amusement park is not the way to go so I think I'll just avoid those particular attractions and keep to the more open ones for safety reasons you know but yeah I think that's basically how I would end up dating Toga nothing special I mean I'm not a fucking lovinator I'm basically emotionally hollow but I think that's all I have to say on that question really well those are all the questions that I had for this My Hero Academia tag and let me just say that this was probably one of the most fun videos to make i don't really know if it is as fun to watch but i sure hope it was okay so it's time for me to spread the love and tag a bunch of people to do this thing now i'm going to pick people that i know cover my hero academia content on their channels but like i said in the beginning i think and even if i didn't just go wild if you feel like using this tag just because you're not tagged doesn't mean you can't do it okay anyway enough distractions i tag kidotaku margin slayer light one films and pro cypher okay so i'm sure there are more but i'm not going to be tagging the whole fucking community so if i didn't tag you don't be offended but if you are tough shit well with that said i'll be ending the video here so let me know what you think down below in the comments and as always if you did please like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new to my channel this has been your favorite host perm and i'll see you soon